Mariam. Thank Could you. you tell us a little bit about your company, Spot One? Spot One Global Solutions um, was created nine years ago to really support the um, IT software organizations, editors and vendors that sell solutions within within Africa, Europe, Middle East and, Af and um, in Asia. And the, I, the whole idea is to help people set a foothold in, uh, in those regions where you are a software vendor looking to sell your solution within the resale and client end users. So we support you uh, to sell your solutions within, within those, um, those countries. And what is Spot One working on at the moment? At the moment we're working with ECOWAS. We will be doing the whole website uh, from from uh, from the the whole website it's been 14 years they haven't done any website so the the government have decided um, as I serve into the, the the government of Burkina Faso they now decided to to do the whole website to rebrand the country rebrand make sure that you know they, there's e-governance set up uh, within the country to give better access to to the locals so we will be we dealing with the website the current website at the moment. And aside from business, it's a bit of a mission for you as well, isn't it? Because you're very passionate about um, putting Africa on the business map and helping Africa to have visibility across the social web as well. Indeed, indeed. Well, we, you know, Africa has changed now in the next, in the last five years. There's a big, big progress now within the continent. People are eager to do well, you know, from from politics to to entrepreneurship. So it, it's it's a very good time for Africa right now. And you're very much involved in an event coming up in uh, Ghana soon. Could you tell us about that? Indeed, that's uh, that's. I don't know if you're familiar about the TED conferences. So TED conferences are, you know, they've been running for 25 years. Uh, so as a tester, we, you know, you independent, you can independently organize events. Um, so currently, we're going to be organizing um, TEDx Accra, which is in Ghana, in West Africa. And um, the whole idea is that we we are into the Millennium Development Goals. Um, so we partner with the Mill, Mill, Mill and, uh, Bill and Melinda Gate Foundation to to organize that um, the event in Accra, where we're going to be having discussion groups about the Millennium Development Goals. Will they be achieved? Will not they be achieved? Um, so that's what we're going to be doing in Accra on the 20th of September as part of the, the Millennium Development Goals Summit in New York. Because there's a very strong connection between what's going on in New York and what's happening with you, isn't there? Indeed, indeed. The Millennium Development Goals is, is very important is a very important subject for, for Africa and uh, we don't know if it's going to be achieved or not. So, you know, the whole idea is Ghana is an amazing country, Obama has been there and, you know, it's, it's an amazing country where today the governance um, is, is a key for the, for the Ghanaian government and the people are amazing Ghanaians, uh, entrepreneurs, part of the diaspora. Everybody's trying to do well in Ghana. So we think that Ghana was a hot spot to organize TEDx Accra. And um, you know, I'm going to be hosting this event with uh, with many many partners, as the the Africa Progress Panel, the BBC, and many many organisations that we're going to be. So I'm very honoured to be hosting it there. What sort of subjects are you going to be focusing on? I will be focusing on universal education because there are eight goals, and we will have eight people on the panel as one. We have Google as partner as well, where you know some of them will be focusing in in ICT, some of them with maternal health. With the W, uh, with the White Ribbon Alliance, and we will be focusing on universal education and global partnership. Because we think right now that Africa is, a, is an amazing market. People need to start looking at the good side of Africa, and uh, we think that it's going to be an amazing time for people to discuss what's happening out there. And um, that's that's the, that's what we're going to be doing in Ghana. And what about the social capital of um, Africa? Are there people with very entrepreneurial spirits there? Amazing, amazingly right now. I mean, you know, Africa, um, as usual, uh, is, is just amazing people. The, the, the continent, the whole continent is, uh, is built um, on, on its, uh, you know, social capital and the human, human capital is there. So right now people are eager to do well, people are eager to, to have their name seen, people are eager to, to show that, you know, it's our continent and we need to do something about it. And I think for us to be able to achieve the million development goals, um, you know, Africa has got a big, big percentage on that. And I think, you know, I, I call the leaders to start talking about this, thinking about how they will help Africa, um, you know, and, and really achieve these goals. It's, it's unlikely that we're going to achieve the goals um, in, in Africa because, you know, they... they it's just it's not possible, but I think progress has been made uh, in the in the last uh, in the last ten years. So um, I think we've got four more four, five more years to to increase you know funding in Africa as a partnership um, in African countries. Really start talking about how we can increase education, how we can help the leaders 
uh, be more accountable in what they do, uh, help them invest into the continent rather than just giving them aid. So I think um, that would be amazing if we can do that in the next five years. And what would be your, your sort of tips to um, any business that actually wants to get involved in Africa? Where can they go to find out more and to connect with people, um, obviously through you as well? Yes, of course. I mean, through Spot One, they can always come to me and we can do that. But there are amazing organizations out there, credible organizations. I always say to investors, when you want to go to Africa, try to speak to the right people. There are amazing, credible organizations out there you can speak to, they can help you understand the continent you know you have to understand Africa before you get in there and you have to speak to the right people to to help you you know see your investment through and uh, because it's just every like everywhere you know you need to you need to know people connections uh, that will help you you know have a have a have a solid business in Africa but uh, but there's potentials in Africa now you're quite um, outspoken and controversial on your thoughts on the Millennium Development Goals um, what do you think that they need to do to achieve their objectives by 2015? I think, I think if I have one word for the leaders is to start um, looking, to focus in Africa, to really focus, focus in, into the continent and cut aid, cut the, the, you know, the, the aid they're giving, the unnecessary money they're giving to, to some organizations that are not doing well in Africa, to start focusing the energy to, to a small group of people or to people who, you know, they, they need to reach out to the right people in Africa. And I think the celebrity business is now gone. They can't just focus on celebrities or people who are not known to be able to do what they have to do. They need to speak to locals, they need to engage more with the people if they want to achieve the main development goals because they are, you know, they need to avoid duplication to be able to do this because, you know, otherwise it can't happen. And I think in the next five years, the strategy need to be engaging with the locals, speaking to the right people, uh, you know, the funding need to be very transparent, where the money is going, how it's going to be achieved. Education is key uh, also into, into, into what they're going to be doing next, ne in the next five years. Without that, it's going to be very difficult to achieve the goals and we're going to be back uh, square one. So if you could have one outcome from your um, event in Accra, what would that be? I think it's, it's informing people giving them the right information of why the Million Development Goals is important um, in, in, in Africa and why Af it has to be achieved or it has to be, the progress has to be measured somehow in the next five years. Um, that, that's, that's very important. So my, my purpose and my objective really is to make sure that you know, by, by the end of the next five years, by 2015, we can go back to Ghana and say, well, we had this conversation the, the, next, the, the last five years, we're back now, what have we done? and how did we measure this and what happened and that's that's very important for I'm, I'm calling all all the governments everybody to actually start doing that thinking how they can achieve this it has to have step one up to step five uh, before you know for us to achieve this otherwise it's not going to happen and you would welcome hearing from anybody that's interested in finding out more or wants to talk to you specifically about getting involved in Africa? Indeed, indeed. I mean, we always open in Africa. And I'm, uh, I'm very active on Twitter and people can always ask us about, you know, what, they, what, what we need to do. There are amazing people we can connect them with in, in Africa. You know, we, we, we're very well known. So, uh, you know, they can always, they, they're always welcome to come in and, and speak to us. We will definitely help them out. All right, Marianne, good luck with your event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.